Greetings noble one, Sir Joseph of Hessen speaking. Today we discuss a very underappreciated and understudied historical armor that has been at least used for 2000 years, which is the mail. In my case I'm wearing a late 15th century mail haubergeon flat wedged riveted 4 in 1 pattern. It's some really good armor and baggy sleeves, been historically time period accurate, but that's only because this one has been measured to my gambus, and in this case I'm just wearing my linen shirt. And it goes all the way past my groin area, which is always good in my book. And uh, yeah, also wear um, on top of my male shirt right now a transitional piece of Eventail out of the 14th century into the 15th century, the so-called Brickening Eventail. There is, however, not many uh, depictions of it, so they are a little bit harder to find. But um, Brickening armor been used uh, quite popular in the um, late 13th century where they started to come out with the coat of plates, worked themselves into the uh, Brigadine as the 14th century approached. Well folks, this is some pretty good stuff. Uh, you cannot easily slash through it or punch through it, you actually would need to wind up with a, a heavy blow and even then all you maybe accomplish is breaking your opponent's bones. Um, and the others that have a pretty good discussion on the male subject further into detail than I do today is the Knight Aaron channel. He talks about it and uh, Chediversity um, talks a little bit about it in his discussion Truth About Mail Armor. And um, the Metrodon channel is pretty good with that too. So, and what I'm wearing along with it is my late 15th century style North Italian Salé, which is pretty much a um, one of the many different models that have been around. In this case, it has an opening faceplate visor, which is a full visor. You don't have to wear that bever with it or a male color as others chose and it's an, this is what it looks like when the visor is closed and my, my head is totally totally safe from any kind of object and this has the historical release pin too right here got a press well, in medieval times, they just yanked it open. And, um, yeah, it's a, this helmet here has been made by a uh, Roman blacksmith from Age of Craft, the modern reproduction. In this case, three millimeter hardened tempered steel, made um, for, well, full contact, literally. And it's quite protective. And now I can hear myself better. And the interior is look looks like this with a good padding. Um, um, it's made for the Battle of Nations type of stuff originally, but you see here uh, barely where the uh, liner starts, the uh, rivet heads where the liner is attached to, and this flexes too for your neck. And, um, well guys, I hope you uh, like my channel and if you do, please hit the like button and subscribe. Till next time, ciao.